It is a great privilege that today we're able to launch the website African Theology Worldwide. Over the last decades, African theologians have invested much energy and reflection on what the Christian message means in relation to the particular context in which they are called. With a great range of social challenges the church is facing, cultural realities that shape the life of local communities and impact the mission of the church, and the many changes that African Christianity itself is undergoing through rapid urbanization, the growth of Pentecostalism, the rise of new media, etc. The many theological resources produced locally are, however, often hard to find, both for theological students and scholars in Africa and in the rest of the world. This website wants to help remedy this situation. It provides a platform through which students and scholars can find the rich contributions of African theologians that are scattered around the internet. With the COVID-19 crisis, many students and scholars are even more dependent on the internet than before. And we hope that this website will become a prime tool for supporting the teaching, study and research of African theology in the region itself and worldwide. What has happened in the past is that when it comes to African theology, a lot of the authoritative works have been published in the West. And African students in particular, and even professors, have had access to this information only when they have traveled to the West. What an internet resource would do is that it will help previously unknown African theologians to be able to have their works available to a Western audience. We talk about the African continent now becoming a major heartland of the Christian faith. And there are quite a number of African theologians based in Africa whose works are not available to the rest of the world. So the internet is going to make that possible. And then it will also make possible access to African works in theology that have been produced in the West. So it's a win-win situation. I extend a warm welcome to you my task here is to introduce you to our website, the African Theology Worldwide.com. This website has four main features that you could find on the menu at the top right corner. And these four main features include the encyclopedia, the bibliography, the internet portal, and the research guide. I will explain each one of these uh, subsequently. Now I would like to begin with the bibliography. On the bibliography, we list uh, materials um, that are actually relevant for various themes. For instance, if you go to biblical hermeneutics and you get to uh, Pentecostal hermeneutics, you click on it, you will find a list of resources uh, that could be filtered either in English or in French, but also could be filtered by way of a free uh, resource or a paid resource. And then one of the interesting things about this bibliography is that you could easily export the bibliography to programs such as Zotero, which could already be installed on your computer. And therefore you easily merge, you come on our website and you merge the resources that you have from here directly into your tools for research. A website with bibliographical resources uh, for African theology uh, is a very useful tool for our African students and, and our faculty in our universities, in our seminaries, and in our Bible colleges. Uh, primarily because one of the major issues that we face uh, as educators within uh, this particular space is that our students and our faculty are not able to find resources easily. And not only are they not able to find them easily, when they go on the internet and look for them, they are sometimes confused uh, by what is actually serious academic work and, and what needs to be put aside. And so a website uh, such as this 
is extremely important. It's a wonderful tool uh, for our educators uh, in the classroom. I think biblical scholars need, uh, from other parts of the world, need to engage with scholars from Africa uh, because there is strength in diversity. Uh, if we do things the same way, if we look at texts in the same way, for instance, use uh, one method, for instance, deconstruction or reader response or uh, whatever methods have been developed in the West that are good methods. I'm not saying that they are not, they are good methods. Uh, but then Western scholars begin to think that that is the only way of looking at life. And we understand that when we look at scripture, when we look at the text, uh, we don't approach the text in a vacuum. Uh, we approach it from a cultural positioning and from a cultural perspective. And Western scholars need to engage uh, with approaches that are looking at the text from a different cultural perspective because it, it opens up the text in a deeper way. Uh, one, one thing that I would say uh, that is, would be very, very beneficial to a, a Western context, a person reading from a Western context, is to understand that when an African reader looks at the Bible, he or she immediately identifies with the worldview expressed in the biblical text. And so it's so much easier for us to pick up things and to pick up cues from the text that a Western reader might not be able to pick up. And so if we are able to have this kind of partnership uh, where the West is drawing from, from Africa and Africa is drawing from the West, I believe that then biblical interpretation becomes so rich because of the diversity that comes in. After all, the church is supposed to express its unity in diversity, and this is one wonderful way of doing that. Again, we have the encyclopedia section of our website. Here, we have developed um, encyclopedic articles, such as the one on biblical hermeneutics written by our colleagues. If you click on it, it opens for you um, a complete article uh, written specifically on biblical hermeneutics, and it gives you a survey of all the research that has been done um, uh, in Africa by African scholars uh, on, on the theme of biblical hermeneutics. This is divided into sections so that you can easily um, read through each section, but it also provides you with a, a comprehensive publication data. For instance, we provide a, a DOI a number, which means that it can be tracked. We provide a, a PDF version, which could be downloaded, but also we provide the opportunity for users who are registered to interact, to collaborate with us and propose items that could be written uh, on a bibliographic uh, article in our website. And if we proceed to the internet portal, here also we provide another set of resources along the themes, the subject themes that we have in this um, website. We have the following themes in the website. You see Bible in Africa, African Christianity, African Christian thought, African mission, and engage in Africa. And through this portal, we, we don't just list uh, journals, articles, and publishing houses where you could find materials, but we also list here important mission organizations that are involved in work in Africa. This is a publication section, uh, a publication that publishes themes, uh, essays, dissertations, masters and PhD dissertations written by African scholars. Although it is based in Germany, yet you could go to the link and it takes you to, to, to the BIAS, the Bible in Africa section, where you will find a lot of other materials um, and so on. Then we go to the last section of our website and that is the research guide the research guide. In the research guide, we provide uh, articles which have been written by either members of the editorial board or members within the African Theology website or written by external uh, 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 writers based also in Africa or elsewhere in the world. And these articles are meant to stimulate the study of African theology. And they are provided, of course, freely accessible to those who are members of, uh, who have registered as members of this website. It gives you a guide, a guide in terms of what to look for when researching a specific theme. 
Take, for instance, research in African lived theology, the value of non-traditional sources in contextual and intercultural theology. We provide here an assessment of what has been written and why we need to incorporate uh, the non-traditional sources from Africa for doing African theology. The last thing I wanted to mention here is if we go back to the homepage, uh, we will see that the five subject areas I did mention, Bible in Africa, African Christianity, African Christian thoughts, African mission, and engage in Africa. This provides us with an opportunity, not just to give you the resources, but to also invite engagement so that we can collaborate together and build up sources that are freely and easily accessible to researchers, scholars, and students in Africa. Who would want to use them to, to better their studies um, of African theology? this website that will draw together bibliographic resources that will be a pointer uh, to say, hey, you're interested in this region, in this theological theme, in this particular theologian, it will all be there. And you can just go and follow the bibliographies as well as key articles, just introducing some of the subjects. I think it's going to be a tremendous help for uh, scholarship and just uh, Christians in general in the West who are interested in learning about Christianity in other regions of the globe.